On Earth, temperatures warming up a little, just five days until Christmas. Meteorologist Albert is here now. Albert Ramon tracking more 40s for tomorrow and some rain in the forecast. Yeah, building rain chances in about 24 hours. We have two solid rain chances in the extended forecast Friday and again on Christmas Day. But 24 hours from now, a couple of evening showers, nothing widespread. The rain, though, does become widespread Friday, especially mid morning into Friday night. We'll get a break from those rain chances Saturday and Sunday before it comes back in a big way on Monday. That's like a future radar for Christmas Day with rain moving on in, but mild temperatures in the 50s. We're sitting at 41 Midway, 39 in Gary, mid 30s right now in Joliet, and also in Aurora. McHenry right now at 36 with a quiet radar and just some high clouds coming in out of the west after really a beautiful day with sunshine in mid 40s. We're stuck in the clouds here tonight, mostly cloudy, and temperatures will be in the 30s, which is mild for this time of the year. And then tomorrow, despite a lot more cloud cover, we'll make our way back into the 40s for highs. Notice that. 3 o'clock, we're still dry, and then by the early evening, we have a few light showers on the Doppler radar. That's 8 p.m., especially south of I-80. It looks to be the best opportunity of seeing some showers in about 24 hours. Everyone's going to get wet, though, as we head into your Friday morning. That's 10 a.m., so it looks like at this point we get much of the Friday morning commute in on the dry side, but by mid-morning into the afternoon, widespread rain in the forecast. Most of this looks to be on the light side, but it lingers Friday night into the early morning hours on Saturday. And at 7 a.m. on Saturday, if you're doing some traveling, fog is in the forecast. When you see this darker color here on our future clouds and fog model, 7 a.m. on Saturday, that's showing you widespread areas of fog, and some of that could even be on the dense side. So solid chance of rain Friday mid-morning into Friday night, the high at 44, maybe a sprinkle. No big deal Saturday at 49, no big deal Sunday for Christmas Eve at 52, and then late Sunday night into Monday. Here comes the next system. We have kind of a parade of areas of low pressure working from west to east, and that's why those rain chances are so high here both Friday and again on Monday for your Christmas Day. And if we add up both those rain chances, anywhere from three quarters to one inch in the forecast, and it looks again to be mainly light rain. So Christmas Day forecast, it's Monday, 53 degrees for the high. That's well above average. The average high for this time of the year is about 35. So you get the idea. We're calling uh, nearly 20 degrees above normal, but those rain showers likely all day on Christmas Day. So tonight we're dry, but more clouds, 32 for the low. Tomorrow, more clouds. Most of the day is dry until we go sunset and beyond. We'll have a few showers around 43 degrees for the high temperature as we head towards tomorrow after afternoon and then as we head towards your Friday about 44 that's still well above average rain chances at 70% on Friday mainly dry this upcoming weekend 52 degrees though for Christmas Eve and then Christmas night down to 48 53 degrees that 70% coverage of rain and if the data continues to suggest this widespread rain we'll likely bump that up 90 if not 100%. That's kind of where the models are trending and the lingering opportunities of showers Tuesday and even Wednesday <laughs> of next week. Kind of a wet way to wrap up the year, huh? Sure is. Yeah. Thanks, Albert.